afterwards. Panditi has produced two DVDs and 21 budget CDs, with the latest being Bhakti Samarkan, a unique offering of traditional folk and film style bhajans. Another one of his productions is Puja Bandanam, which is a booklet and CD compilation with which you can sit at home and perform basic daily pujas on your own. He has a weekly inspirational radio program on Radio Jagrati 102.7 FM and his satsangs throughout the world are regularly featured on TV Jagrati, Sankhya TV and many other international stations. Paniji is currently based in Central Florida where he enjoys spending his free time tutoring his two beautiful daughters, Vaishnavi and Sakshi, in music and Sanskrit chanting. With that being said, it's my pleasure and it's an honor and a blessing to introduce our very noble and blessed Vyasi. Principal of Vyas Maharaj Jiki. Over you to Paniji. He is the God of love. 
is the Lord of spirituality, is the Lord of meditation, is the Lord that takes us through Brahman oneness with the Lord. Before we commence, let us chant the name of Sri Hari. Harahar Mahadeva Shambho. Please join with me, everyone, before I chant some of the Sanskrit translations. Please join with me, everyone.
to sit around to our listeners via the internet with DJ Mamu and Trinidad and of course uh, all the other medias who are broadcasting. Thank you so much and all the sponsors making this program possible. Please close your eyes and feel the energy of Lord Shiva. He wants to come to your Monday. He is here, but he wants to come to your heart. And how? In these Sanskrit answers.
So this model should be worn on a Monday. It prevents immature death, because you have to live a healthy life. And use it all in the Mashivari, the Trimrakam should be used. Anyone who chants, Om Trimrakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvar Kumiva Bandhana Mrinjor Moksha Mahavidat Do you know this mantra? Yes or no? Those of you who know it, please raise your hands. Very nice. And for those of you who know it, you will be able to know it. Just, just chant it about six times every morning for two days. It will remain there. This mantra is when you are prevent, to prevent premature death. Yaja Mitchun Jayamanta. Before you drive your car, Om Trayam Bhakam Yaja Vare Sivanti Pushti Vardhanam. When you're blessing your new home, Om Trayam Bhakam Yaja Vare Sivanti Pushti Vardhanam. Before you play an instrument, Om Trayam Bhakam Yaja Vare Sivanti Pushti Vardhanam. Chant that mantra as often as possible. When you can't get a park in the mall, Om Chayam Bhakam Yaja Vare Sivanti Pushti Vardhanam. If you are suffering from Rahu or Ketu Graham, this mantra is very good to appease the planetary system. Chayam Bhakam Yajamadin is very, very, it was given by Parvati Ma to Lord Shiva to remove the curse and the burdens of life. For those of you who are waiting to get married every day, Om Chayam Bhakam Yajamadin. Paniji, I did 500 times to get married. I didn't be married as yet. I said, when you become a flower and you're not sour, he will give you the power to get that power to get someone. Just become a flower and the bees will become to itself. Don't worry if you're not married. The Lord has somebody better for you. Don't rush into marriage. Let it be. Don't rush into anything. Umar Puri Mahade Raki Jai Wan Kharutoli Pandiji when you speak about Mrityun Jaya Mantra, I use it. I said, how do you use it, sir? He said, Tanji, when I wake up in the morning and I see my wife, I tell you, I have to chant this mantra all the time. Because she gets angry with me all the time. I said, you keep chanting, don't say anything, she will love you more. Therefore, this mantra was given by Parvati Mata. If you like to charge someone, invoke Trayan Bhakam on a full moon day, and this hand becomes, this hand becomes powerful. You can touch someone and it creates beautiful energy in your hands. When you chant rich and jaya, it really, really helps you. To that, Bhagwan Shivaji, Bhagwan, please bless us, O Lord. Please guide us. Please protect your world. Please give us that inner strength. As we sing the name of Bhagavan Shiva, and I will chant the mantra that you often hear. And I'm going to explain that mantra to you. I'm not going into any kind of reading. I, when I read from my heart, I do a better job. <laughs> I'll be able to connect with you. And therefore, before we commence, we will chant the name of Bhagavan Shiva. Please let us all chant together. Nadindra Raya Trinochinaya Vashmandarada Madhishwara Nidhyaya Sudhadigambaraya Tasme Nakara Nama Shivara Bam bam bola, bam bam bola, na si na Thank <laughs> you. 
o Nar Baba, whatever Baba, please come as Shiva Baba, don't come as Nar Baba. So Nagindra Hara Yatri Lochanaya, that Bhagwan Shiva, who even the creatures are attracted to when he drank the Hala Hala poison to save the world. Christ alone didn't save the world, our Shankar Baba saved the world. When he drank the Hala Hala poison to save the world, these creatures came and partook of that Hala Hala poison. They became poisonous as well. But in the Hindu tradition, in the gods, they attract all the animals. The Lord Hanuman, yes, the monkey. You know, Mahatma carries the lion. Lord Shiva carries the snake. Lord Vishnu carries the guru, the bird. Lord Krishna carries the cows. Lord Rama carries many other animals that he walked in one bus. And many of you who love animals, let me tell you a secret, don't tell anybody. In the hundred of good girls. When you are spiritual, these animals tend to come towards you. But I will tell you something. The more fear you have, is more they will come and become an enemy to you. But if you are spiritual, they will come and look at you and get their children go up. I have learned to become... I'll tell you something, this lifetime, I want to do one thing. I want to remove my fear from snakes. I have a lot of fear of snakes, my dear friends. I have nightmares about them. And when you see, I live in Orlando, and my children take me to Disney World, and they take me to see Harry Potter, and these huge snakes come in front of you, well, can you imagine, I close my eyes, Dad, what do you enjoy? I said, you know what, it was really great. My eyes were closed. So, Bhagwan Shiva, they bole nar baba, Sachinananda Maharaj, Namah Shivaya, Panchakshan Mantra, Nagin Brahmaray, Trilo Chanaya, the one who carries them, three marks in the forehead. In India, you will see the Babaji with three marks. Do you know why, Pandiji? Long time ago, did not have aspirin and tablets. When you rub the three marks on your forehead, it prevents headache, scientifically. And in India, there are three types of chandan. The Dath chandan, which is Ma Durga. You have the Yu chandan, which is Lord Vishnu. And you have the train line. The three chandan for Lord Shiva. So if you see someone as a duck, you know that devotee is a Durga Man devotee. If you see someone with a U, that's a Lord Vishnu devotee. And if you see one with the three marks, that is Shri Shantar Maharaj. Do you know you have three eyes? Eh? Two physical one, and the third one is here. Baba, I didn't know I have an eye there. Yes. When you close your eyes, you're supposed to see light energy. You're supposed to see a blue light. You're supposed to see a purple light. And if you see, don't see that light, peep a little bit to the monkeys and close your eyes again. You're supposed to see a golden light when you close your eyes. This mark here is your third eye. It's your eye of energy. My guru who taught me in India, his eyes would be closed and he would know exactly who came to class and who didn't come. My Swamiji in India, Swami Anubhavda, they used to be in, in his room and he would know what we were doing in our room. His third eye was open and it is open, he's still alive. Your third eye, whenever your eyes are closed, try to see Shivaji in your third eye. Brothers and sisters, when the COVID was happening, my life was traumatized, I had many issues, I didn't think I would come back to be a father. The Lord Shiva is so great, you know. Once I ask him, Lord Shiva, I pray to you every day, Bhagavan. Shaka Koti Bhadal Bhad Muskar Karta Ho. Please show me some signs that you are here with me, please. Are maaf ki jain. Are de do ek vardan. Give me one blessing so I can see that you are there with me. And when I opened my eyes, and my friends, you know what I saw? You know in the, the little light of the deer that you light? In the middle has a blue flame, inside that light has a blue flame. Inside that flame, I saw Bhagavan Shiva sitting inside of that blue flame, friends. I always say, when you believe it, you perceive it, you can achieve it. 
Once you believe it and perceive it, you can achieve it. Children, those of you who are here today, many times you say, well, I'm living in Guyana. I can't make it. I can't be a good singer. I can't be a good musician. I can't be a polished politician. I'm an Indian. Nobody will recognize me. Don't ever repeat that. Always tell yourself every day, I can do it. I can make it. I can make it happen. When I was younger, I would used to stutter and speak. And all everyone used to laugh at me. And you know what they used to call me? They used to call me a good for nothing. My family members they used to say I'm useless. And you know what today I told them? I said I was not useless. I was used less. I believe if you want to become some great to the Kripa Bhagwan. You can make it, my dear friends. Look at our president. Look at our many great pundits and leaders, our great singers who made it out there. And to our children who are musicians and singers, and you want to make it in life, nothing is difficult for you. I never believe I would become a pundit. I never believe I would travel two, three times a week throughout the world. An aircraft now has become my taxi. Never believe it. I used to look at the planes and cry and say, Mom, I wish if I could go in one of them. And my mom and mother would tell me, later, later, have plenty of faith. Have plenty of faith. Believe it. And you will achieve it. The Lord had one is great, my dear friends. They wrote in art. Nagindraharai trilochanaya Vashmangaraya Yadeshwaraya Nityaya Sudhaya Gambaraya Tasmena Karaya Shivaya Tasmena Karaya Namah Shivaya The one with the snake, the one with the three eyes He who is Bhashma with ashes, devotee everywhere Brothers and sisters in, the, in India When you go to the Ganges, you will have at least 1500 bodies burning in a day so if you die, you have company, plenty of them, plenty company in India. And the yogis will place the ashes on the body like Lord Shiva. It teaches you that you are not fear of death. Death is only for the body, not the Atma. Nitya Sudhaya Digambaraya, he who places ashes in his body to that Shivaji, who resides in all the quarters, Tasmei Nakara Namas Shivaya To that Shiva we bow again and again Prem Subhudu Mahabhu Mahadeva Ki Jai And there are five syllables I want to ask you a question this evening Why do you think there are five syllables in this mantra? Anybody? Listen to the word Na Ma Shi Va La Na, Ma, Shi, Raya. Five syllables. And do you know what the five syllables represents? The five elements. And that's the reason why the easiest mantra to chant when you wake up, Om Namah Shivaya. You're taking part and you didn't get hot water, well, Om Namah Shivaya. The food didn't taste good, Om Namah Shivaya. You have diarrhea, Om Namah Shivaya. Somebody look at you, Kata, you know this Kata, right? Om Namah Shivaya. Neighbor didn't give you a rhyme? Are you here? Om Namah Shivaya. You feel you have bad eye? In Shrinidad we say Malju. Here we say what? Nazar. Nazar ke saamune jigar ke paas. Don't get bad eye, friends. You will see that anyone who chants Namah Shivaya, you cannot get bad eye. And when you have nice people like you here, where don't you get bad eye? When you only have good eye, Baba, all eyes are good. <laughs> Let us hope so. Brothers and sisters, Om Namah Shivaya. Keep chanting that. Bhagavan, we have turned to you this evening. Please help us. Please guide us. While we pray here tonight, there are a lot of people who are suffering. There are some who are homeless. There are some who may not have clothes, food, family. There are a lot of people who have stress. Depression. 
There are a lot of parents who are dealing with children who are suicidal. There are a lot of people who don't know where their money is going. And while we, we are praying, there are a lot of people who are crying with us. Not one. That is so dear. Please be favorable to us. Please allow those people to be happy. Please bless them with a beautiful life. We pray for our friends. <clears throat> Please enjoy this version as we say Shivaji. Please bless our neighbors. Please bless the trees and the animals. Please bless Mother Earth so she can continuously give food to us. Please bless us with health. Please bless the world with Sarve Bhavan to Sukhila with peace. Please bless our children, they are the future. Please bless our mandirs, masjids and churches. Bless our leaders of the world, O Bhagavan. Shiva Ji, that is for you. Please listen to our prayer. Nice. 
कौन सा मेरी का बोले वन फल जल्दी पंडित जी आई नो वेरी वेल वॉट इज बोले बोले ही मजाक करके जा ऐसे भैया जी नो भोले मीन्स इनसेंट इज वेरी इजी पसंद का आत्मा इज वेरी इजी टू प्लीज सो इट इज वन वर्ड यू मस्ट ऑल लर्न टू नाइट इज भोले भोले मीन्स से One more time. Yes. I'm on for the road. Yes. You can never forget that word, right? Bole na, the Lord of innocence, the Lord who is very easy to please. I got a message yesterday morning from one of the devotees in New York. He says, "Paniji, they saw TikTok." I said, "Is that a clock?" He said, "No, no, no, Baba. TikTok is a new thing." I said, "Okay, I myself in TikTok." I thought you were referring to a clock. I said, no, no. TikTok. Someone said you must not offer tulsi leaf for Lord Shiva. Baba ji, is that true or not? I said, what do you think? He said, I don't know. Brothers and sisters, in this bhajan, in this mantra, we know Trinalam, Trigula, Karam, Trinitram, Cha, Triyajmram, Trijanma, Papa, Samharam. Bilva patram shivar panam. We know that bilva leaves is for Lord Shiva. But if you cannot get bilva leaves, what do you offer? Second trait is tulsi. You could use tulsi in Shiva ji. Of course, not Lord Ganesh ji. Do for grass is used for Ganesh ji, not tulsi. But tulsi can be used in Shiva. Nothing is wrong. Tulsi is Vishnu. Vishnu Bhagwan says I am Shiva. Shiva says I am Vishnu. We are both friends together. This is how pundits should be. Friends to each other. Today, on the first day, my dear brother pundit, Devda ji, please give him a round of applause. Four fellow weeks were very late after midnight for my arrival. Today, we were able to see pundit Rajin ji and Bhagwan ji. Very nice. So much welcome. And pundit Jagmohan ji, I was able to see. So much we did today. I never really want to see more because I just love Gaya. My wife always tell me, "Boy, I think you are Gaya's in your last life." I said, "Last life or this life?" <laughs> I used to say half Trinidad and half Gaya. So they says your name should be Gaya Three. <laughs> Gaya is Trinidad, and I just love the devotees from Gaya. Like when I was in the airport last night. I was looking at people, and for some reason, whenever I looked at the the, the, the faces, they're so sweet, they're so innocent. I looked at one African lady, and she was looking so sad. I just looked at her and smiled, and the world just started to laugh like that. <laughs> she said, "I don't know you, but you just made my day." I said, "This is not life. This is love." You go with a frown face. You go. That is probably. Why we use lemon in the pushka? Not so weird. It's our this. No. When you come to a mandir, smile. It will take you a mile. You will feel worthwhile, and your face will never look like a crocodile. <laughs> oh, this smile, man! You cannot tell me you are praying every day in front of your puja. Pandaji, I spend three hours in my puja room. But yet, after puja room, you are done. What happened? I'm depressed. What happened? My neighbor tell me something. What happened? My husband didn't tell me I love you. <laughs> Small things are enough to trigger off negativities. Where is your devotion, friends? Where is your faith? If you come into Monday, we must say, you know what? Problems, I'm ready for you. Challenges, I'm ready for you. Difficulties, my God is bigger than your problems. My problems are smaller. My difficulties are smaller. My issues are smaller. My Prabhu is bigger than my problems. Hey, bole na to innocent one. Please come into my heart and regulate my life. Umaru maha be bhakti. Two things: bole is innocent, and yes, you know, bole to see things. Bolo umaru maha be bhakti. Brothers and sisters. So the first mantra starts with 
Nam Gita Nadin. Why? Because the first syllable in Namah Shivaya is N. Nam. Namah Shivaya. So Nam means Nadin Raharai Trilochanaya. You know, one who wears the snake. The snake represents the Kundalini Shakti in you. When we are born, it's spoiled. And when you start to grow older, trigger devotion, you start unwinding the snake of the Kundalini. That is in your spinal cord. Your devotion, your puja, your mantras, your bhajans can uncoil that snake all the, the kundalini in the, in the spine. And when that starts straightening, you will see a difference in your life. You will be able to heal yourself. You will be able to see others and read them. You will be able to memorize mantras. You will be able to have energy in your hands. Wherever you walk, you will command the respect. That Kundalini Shakti is like a snake. We need to straighten it while we grow older. Don't be like the fella that says, Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, you all must live a straight life. Hare <laughs> Baba, what happened to the finger? It's supposed to be a straight life, not a straight life. <laughs> Many of us want to be religious, but we are so tempted to the world of temptation. Please live a good life. The energy, the Kundalini, is going to reawoke you by itself. My dear friends, the second mantra is Na Ma. Namah Shivai Na Ma. Ma means Mandakini Sarila Chandra Chachitai. Let us sing this interesting, beautiful ragas. Mantras, but any devotee of yours chanted, he pulls the devotee. 
towards him. And Nandi Swaraya, his vehicle is Nandi. My dear friends, all the gods have a vehicle. Garud is the vehicle of Vishnu. Dattatreya, the dog. Kamadurga, the tiger. But the bull, Nandi, is the form he took, is the first form he took. Nandi. And Nandi is to be his guide. In the Shiv Puran, Nandi has a whole chapter for himself, his dedication towards Shiva. Nandi Shwaraya Pramatna Nandi Shwaraya. He is the Lord of the world, Nandi. If you go to Kirana, the lingam is not wrong, it is like a pyramid. If you go to that's one of the lingams, the twelve lingams in India. And if I were you, and you get older, well, if you're there, and you have the finance, if any devotee can do this, go to the twelve lingams of Lord Shiva in India, where he manifested. A lingam was formed, Dwadash Jyoti Lingam. I have seen my God's grace about seven of them, but next year I'm going to cover each one of them. And there are flights for about 50 years that can take you from one place to the next. Three of them are close by. But the most difficult one is Kedarnath. There's another one, the Kedarnath, you can go either by helicopter, which takes seven minutes, you can walk, which will take about eight hours, or you could take donkey water. A donkey you could go. Nice. Or there are people who would take you on their shoulders in special uh, seating arrangements and they will take you on. But I feel sorry for those people. But a true devotee wants to see the manifestation of Shiva, all twelve lingams. So Mandara Pushpa Prabhu Pushpa Sapujataya. That Shivaji who invoked the, 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 the goblins and all the various spirits, he's the god of all of them. Whenever you have fear, Om Trayam when you come back from a funeral, because you don't want any special guests to come to your home, you know? We can pick up energy in the cemetery. That's the reason why they tell you do not eat there. When you come home from a cemetery, you pass the water over your head, you touch some fire, if you are Brahmin, you change the jaleel, you take heat and rub it in your mala, you know. You have to re-bless your items when you go to a cemetery with the heat. That's purification. So even Bhagavan Shiva is the God who is responsible for all the goblins and the boot and prayed. He controls them as well. If you chant his name, all negativities go away. I'm sure sometimes you have seen sleeping problems. Huh? How many of you can of sleep in the night or hit raise hands? <laughs> Until you are very sincere, God bless you. To anybody decide, no, I sleep. Panditji, my problem is not to, to stay awake. My problem is, is not to sleep, but to stay awake. Some people say, Babaji, wherever I go, I fall asleep. <laughs> Friends, you can't sleep. Oh, no, Shivaya, really? Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Do that 12 times and the mind becomes quiet and you see your fall asleep. Please do not take pills to see. If you take pills, you will have to start making your will. You have to do plenty of pills because that kills. So therefore, natural remedy is important. We don't want to know a remedy how to sleep nice in the night. Those of you who like to hear a remedy tonight, please raise your hands. Those who would like to hear tomorrow night, you better hope raise your hands. Do <laughs> <laughs> gradually please bring a bus as you come tomorrow, please, no? You sleep so nice. Yeah, I don't know what I mean, is the one who will bring you. <laughs> if you want to sleep good in the night, Dr. Deepak Chopra, he said. And all these are signs, high signs. Always place your bare feet on the ground. Whenever you can't sleep, go in the grass, have some grass in the backyard, and just lay down on your feet and your hands and look at the sky for at least five minutes. Mother Earth will neutralize your energy and she will make you sleep at the end of the night. 
Try it, my dear friends. And I hope we meet again, you will tell me honestly. When you work for one day, try it for five days. Just go to the backyard, make sure there is no snake, right? Otherwise, <laughs> not Baba will be watching you, he will stay too with you, right? Yeah. Make sure there is no insect. Last time, one husband said, what do you tell my, my wife? She went to the backyard, uh, she went and she slept everywhere. And then it had Rabi Maharaj and Gaudi Maharaj or they were living in that. And I said, but at least it worked, right? Those of you who cannot sleep, just lay down on the bare ground that Mother Earth neutralized your energy. This is a fact that is scientifically proven. All the pills will not do you good. They will always have a repercussion. It will start affecting your liver, your kidneys, and you will die fast. For those of you who are in tablets, I have a beautiful remedy. How to heal your life. How to heal your life. Come tomorrow. <laughs> and we will also express those, those remedies for you. Oh, you like to hear those remedies, right? You want to stop those tablets. You want to live natural. The Lord has given us everything natural. The tree grows natural. The sun comes out natural. The earth spins naturally. Your children grow naturally. You become wealthy naturally. You look nice like me naturally. <laughs> then the natural position of the physical body is to be natural. And when you eat natural things that Mother Earth has given to you, then you can live according to her law and not by the laws of pills and drugs. It destroys the life. It shortens your life. It makes you age faster. Brothers and sisters, Lord Shiva here, He is that Tasmei Nakara in Namashivaya Bhagavan. You are Mandar Pushpa Bhavu Pushpa Subhuja. You are that mesmerizing, timeless, endless, boundless, supreme, divine reality. To Sri Shankar Maharaj, we bow again and again and again. Bring some Muru Mahaprabhu Mahadeva Ki. Bhagavan, we praise you. We love you, dear Vishwaji. We love you, dear. Take care of us, O Lord. Please join us in this video.
see Lord Krishna is the dance, you know. He is the Vasudhi. But one Shiva is Damruvala. The devotees of Kailash, they only play this Damru. And when you hear that Damru, that, that, that great drum, you feel so amazing, so divine. That drum, Dimika Dimika. The, the first beats came from Shivaji Maharaj. The first Nataraj dance was Shivaji. He was the origin of Nataraj. 108 different movements. Bhagavan Shri Maharaj. Brothers and sisters, the third letter, Na, Ma, and the other one is Shri. Namashri. Shivaya. Shivaya means the Lord. Shivaya means the one who has mystic divinity. Who is like the raising sun so energetic. He is always shining for the night. I'll tell you a next secret, we'll tell you. If you want to have natural looks, you want to look young for a long time, you want to have all your hair and hair like me, right? you want to shine wherever you go, and you think makeup or breakup, then Shri Maharaj, those who chant his name, they become luminous like a thousand suns. Wherever they go, they shine. But not physically, but also spiritually. Wherever they go, they connect with Bhagavan Shiva. So Shivaya Gauri, Gauri means Pantaji. Varanam Pravinda, she is always with him like the shining sun as well. And brothers and sisters, is like the beautiful lotus, Suryaya Dakshaya, Dhamanashakaya. Nashakaya means, are you know, Nash in Sanskrit? Nash means the destroyer. He destroys. And what he destroys? Baba, I know what you want to destroy. He should destroy all Eva. One day somebody asked the Guruji Maharaj, asked, what do you pray for? He said, it's a destruction. But what destruction? No. He is praying so his neighbor will be destroyed. No, no, no. How could you pray for that? Or do you think there are people in the world like that? Yes. There are people who will go the extreme way out to share the negativities to you. In your job, you have to be careful. So if I were you and you have a job, you have an office, always put a nice card. Thank you for always being there. Someone doesn't like you, you know what, I'll hold on to you. Someone you know is not very favorable to you. We have something called Starbucks here now. You get one day. And you will see you will be that person's star for a long time. But something about negativities will not work. Someone doesn't like you, so what? Let go. Let it go, friends. Let it go. So Bhagwan Shiva is the first yogi. And what is his name? Adi Yogi. Adi Yogi means the first yogi. Yogi means one who has dispassion of the world. Yogi means one who is connected, but disconnected from negativities. Yogi is one who has control of the mind. Your body is here, but the mind is. I wonder if you make Ali. Um, oh, Roti, no? Mm -hmm. I think they probably make Dal. But if they are here, you don't look for food. Your food is your thoughts for tonight. So the mind can take you in such divine, negative journey and divine journey. So, brothers and sisters, when someone is negative towards you, let it go. Let it go. You have leaders who go against leaders, musicians who go against you. And they're not from fire, you know. They're right within your family, so they now. You see, in Trinidad and Guyan, a long time, in the courthouse, there used to be strangers and neighbors and workers. Today, in the courthouse, it is more family who has they have differences in each other. How many of us we have family students? See a nice little philosophy from this. I study Hindu philosophy. And I can always bridge them. I want to bring something. I want you to listen carefully. I want you to write this down, but not physically, but mentally. You have to look at me and write this philosophy. Not on paper, you will forget. If you write it by listening and not hearing, <clears throat> see we hear but we don't listen. And we listen, we get listened. 
But when we hear, it goes in the air, and you have fear, and you have nightmare. So listen to this. In the age of Sakyo, the war was between two worlds. The Asuras and the, 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 the Devotas. Two worlds in Sakyo. In Treta Yuga, the war was between Lanka and, and Rama. Ravan and Rama. Lanka and the Yuga. So the war became from two worlds to two parts of the world. In Dwapar Yuga, the war was between family members, which is Gauravas and the Pandavas. Two cousins. Look at the war how it became from two worlds to two countries to two family. But in the age of Kalyu, where do you think that war is? The war is right here. The Kama, Krodha, Madha, Loba, hypocrisy, jealousy, hatred, anger, envy, jealousy. You name it, these are the monsters waiting to attack us. And who is our savior? Of course, our savior is that Bhagwan Shiva. Shiva e Gauri Madana Vinda E Bhagwan Shambhu. Save us from the world of negativity. Always let go, let go, let go. Panditji, you speaking about let go, I said yes. Panditji, can I ask you a question? Yes. What question? One day she used to let go. When I go home, you think I can let go of my wife? I said, Deyaji, Nari, Nari, no, 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 don't, don't let her go. <clears throat> let the negativities go. Let all the negativities go. Don't let go the personal people in your life. Let go the attachment of them. When a monkey is holding on to the laddu and he's hearing the master is coming for him, the monkey keeps on holding on the laddu in the jar. What do you think happened? His hands kind of come out from the jar. But from the time he lets go the laddu, his hands comes out and he runs away. Our problem is like that. We are holding on to the laddu of Maya. And once we hold on, we can let go of our hands from the containment of this world of Maya. If you are free honey and you want to jump down, you have to let go first. Then you can come down. Let go, friends. Tonight, make me a promise. Can you let go the people who, are, who have hurt you? Then Shiraji will be happy with you. Can you do me a favor to see me? Can you let go the people who took things from your way? You may be owing them in your last life, in your karma. But when we hold on to events and people, negativities, we cannot grow spiritually. And a yogi means to let go. Lord Shiva is telling us, if you want to come close to me, you better need to let go of all the hurts, depression and sadness. Let them go. And I will let it with you, my dear friends. I will let things happen gracefully with you. Umahapati Maha Devaki Jai. Brothers and sisters, please let go of your pains and your sufferings. Let it go. You know there's a movie in this new world called Let It Go? And you better let it go. Anything you're holding will always be a danger for you. So now, Mashi, what? Wow. And before we continue, let us sing this beautiful bhajan. Give the one shampoo. Bless us, guide us, and protect us. I'd like to say many thanks to our musicians who are supporting me so nicely on drummers, you can put a camera on them so that they also will be known here. Very beautiful Dola. Beautiful Monday, very, very sweet, very nice energy here at the Providence in the Monday we are. And it's nice to be here to join in Satsang. Please enjoy this selection as we sing to our dear Prabhu. Please bless us all now and always. Please enjoy the selection, everyone. The original voice of Hari Om Shalaji. Dharaji, enjoy the selection. Are you all happy this evening? Yes. Are you happy? Please give yourself a round of applause if you are happy. Please turn 
of the bus next to you and say, Om Namah Shivaya. Kare kare su dharma, kare su dharma, manva jane sita.
and that apparatus transformed the electrical energy to, to ice in a fridge. The same electricity goes through a stove through the apparatus and the same uh, the apparatus transform that energy to heat. The electricity is the same. The apparatus makes that electricity convert to either heat or ice. The electricity is God, like God. God is one. But the apparatus is the mind. Whether it takes you a nice person, or a terrible person, or a great person, that apparatus is your mind that should be in the frequency of God. And everything that you ever need will come to you. This apparatus of the mind needs to be refined. You better be kind. Stay on the line. We'll finish by nine. So I hope you don't mind. Please be in mind. I have a devotee here, my name is Mahashri. I first, well, my second journey to Guyana was in Essequibo. And I was very fortunate to go to the Passat army to Afghanistan. And she's here this evening. She always followed me on Facebook. And she would say, Paniji, can you sing one of my favorite songs? I said, what is your favorite song? I think when I was a little boy, this was, was one of my favorite legends when I was four years of age. It was a song, it is a song that I would put my child to sleep. Or I'm afraid to put you to sleep. So I anyway, sing one verse, and can you sing with me this song? I'd like to dedicate this song to the Prasad and to Maushmi Di, and all of you ladies who have come. And can you do me a favor, if possible in the future, to every one female, Andi, Aji, Mausi, and Pua, can you bring up Heya? Because we seem to have more ladies in the religion than men. If you can pull them, I think they're outside. Some of them like to stay outside for the breeze. But it's always nice to bring men as well. Hmm? See, women always have more, they have more words than they work, man. Men only have any. Eh? <laughs> so, I would like to see this selection. Moshe, what's the best <laughs> Thank you. 
And I said, I'm going to buy with all the money I had, or the few dollars I had, I will buy a piece of jewelry for my mom. For those of you who know India, and you go in the train, you don't have to walk, you have to push you. And it's not like a train station in New York or the subway in Canada or any normal train. This train has people inside. They have people on top. They have people hanging out. They have people with a driver. They have people with a coal mine. They have people everywhere. The train is allowed to take at least 1,500 people. It takes 4,000 people. So one day, I bought this jewelry for my mother and I was holding it in a plastic bag and I went to this train. Now when I went to this train, I was holding the bag with a handle. And of course, I couldn't walk, they pushed me out, so I came out. I didn't reach my destination. I was kicked out because so much people. But when I came out of the train, I observed something amazing. And what was that? I was holding the bag. But when I watch someone cut around the bag and I'm holding the handle alone, the bag with a gold piece for my mother, someone held it and went with it. So then I realized, Bhagwan, if I came in Mumbai to study Vedanta for three years, I think you're telling me cut. Cut away your love for these things. It is okay. It's good to wear. <laughs> Your brush has a nice one. But this doesn't make you who you are. And when that was cut and stolen, I sat and I cried and said, That's the only thing I was looking forward to give my mother. And I never told her the story because I didn't want her to feel sad for me. But it's really, I realized from that day, Bhagavan wanted me to cut all the material things. And do you know from that day, I never really wear gold. I never made a promise. But I had to remake a promise to wear this one because it's an opera. It's okay. Sometimes people tell you, Pandit, I give you a gift, can you wear it? And if you don't, they feel offended. So of course, my dear friends, gold is not my, my team of living. But sometimes we have to trim and God will help us trim the things that is not meant for us. If you are not meant to get married, don't be sad out of it. Live a joyous life with the person you are. Parents, do not be angry with your child. They are not a weight in your life. If that child is meant to support you, so shall it be. A lot of people come and cry and say, Pandiji, I'm fasting for 50 days. Hare Maji, you're getting weak. What do you pray for? No, my daughter is there and she's not married, she's a pain. I said, Maji, she's part of the baby How could Your child be a pain to you. Let them be. If it's to be married, let them get married. It is not it's okay. You see about your spiritual life. They will come along and do good when the time is right. Sometimes we have friends who may not know us well. Something is going to happen for that relation to cut so that you will progress in your spiritual life. Not everybody in your life, but everything is meant to be. What is need to be deleted, Shiv Maharaj is going to delete. But the Rishi is in Muni, says, Vairagya, I'm going to cut the designs to reach your Shiv Maharaj. And the last verse, it says here, please enjoy this. Thank you. 
He is the embodiment who wears the matter box. He is the embodiment of kindness. He is eternal. Devaya Digambara. What is Digambara? Digambara means he is detached from his clothes. He is a Digambara. He is one who doesn't even have much garments. In India, when you go to Kedarnath, they have long hair. And they call them how? What do they call them? Avadut. Avadut means they are gorees, they don't wear clothes. And they are sitting minus 15 degrees in the snow. And they said, Oh, Namashiva. Oh, Namashiva. Oh, Namashiva. And when their eyes open, they can read like a book. They can tell you your past, present, and future. And in Kedarnath, that place is closed for six months and it is open for six months. And these yogis, no, the only thing they have is chai. You know Indian chai? They say when you drink Indian chai, you have to go, oh my, 
Don't be shy. Drink the chai. Chai is very nice with ginger, turmeric powder. Very nice chai. That's all that they have on the chant of Namah Shiva. The body is without clothes. To show you that they are not even attached to the clothes. Such is the level of Vairagya attachment. In this verse it says, Frustrations, you see, Maharaj. Your mantra itself gives so much contentment. You are the Jadar, the renounced one, or eternal divine, one who is brilliant, one who signifies the Agori, the Gambaraya, one who is detached from the material things. To such a devotee who lives a life of detachment, the one Shiva pulls you into this realm. Praise the Lord, 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 Lord. And so, brothers and sisters, this is the Panchakshar Mantra that you will hear all the time on a Sunday morning by the Lord Mishi, from Ahmadadi, you will sing this. This is the Katha, this is the meaning behind these words of Sanskrit. When you learn Sanskrit, you'll be able to unfold these words and Lord Katha. I'm appealing to all our Pandits to please learn Sanskrit. It's a beautiful language. It takes you 12 years to master. 12 years. And if you don't know the Sanskrit, then it's difficult to unfold these words and bring it to life, to our day to day life. So, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, beautiful evening. Thank you so much. I have a beautiful quotation from Swami. Please listen to it and write it in your memory. The carpenter shapes the wood into a form. The blacksmith shapes the iron into a form. The goldsmith shapes the gold into a form. The sculpture shapes the murti into a form. But the Lord shapes the mind from animosity to honesty and dignity. This is a beautiful... Do you want to hear it again? Or you remember it? Baba say it one more time. Write this down. A carpenter shapes the wood. A blacksmith shapes the iron. A goldsmith shapes gold. The sculpture shapes the murti, but the Lord shapes the mind so you can become divine. Brothers and sisters, a beautiful quotation. I hope you have enjoyed this evening. I have so much more to tell you. It's really a pleasure to be here in your company. I really, really love your energy here. And I'd like to thank all of you for coming out. You can follow my Facebook. If you didn't go on it, please subscribe. I have all my motivational talks. And you can see my evening session on Facebook. So if you can't make it there, you can see all my sessions on Facebook. So all the aunties that the young children put here on Facebook. So you will have all the latest songs that I'm making and all the katas that I read. Tonight, but one. We know the word steel is not in the part of Hinduism. Sure. But one, we want you to steal something from us. Please steal all the negativities. Something that we don't want, but we want you to eradicate, to destroy, to destroy all the negativities from our lives. Brothers and sisters, as we talk about faith, you know, one day, a man went to the grocery and he stole three apples. So when he went to the court, they told him, because you stole three apples, you'll have to go three months in the jail. The second fellow showed up what you stole. Well, sir, I stole six oranges. The magistrate said, if you stole six oranges, you will have to go to six months in the jail. The third man came and he said, what you stole? The man didn't want to say it. But the wife raised her hands and he said, she said, he stole one bag of cherries. So can you imagine how long he has to go in the jail for? The wife said he didn't steal one bag, he stole about four. You can check each grape and give him the amount of time he needs there. Brothers and sisters, sometimes people will sell us out. But I'm sure your loved ones will not The bad ones steal away our difficulties and depression and sadness. But one, we love you so much. Please take care of us. To all of our viewers, thank you so much for viewing. You can always share the video to your friends and family. And uh, to all of the devotees who have come in this area, 
Thank you so much for coming. And the last night I will be close by. Susa. 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 So you can come there as well and join with us. So tonight, we will sing this beautiful bhajan. Please enjoy this section. Anyone here tonight may have a question in Hinduism? Please raise your hands. I love to answer questions. And no question is a bad question. Anybody may have a question about my Katha? About Lord Shiva? Raise hands. Do Raja? Any aunties, you have a question? Anybody in the online viewing may have a question? So you can always ask me. I love to answer these questions. Hmm? There's a song from the movie Kalmurabha. What I did, I composed an English song for those of you who may not know Hindi. And I would like to sing and dedicate the song to all of the youngsters over here today. Please enjoy this selection. Thanks. <laughs>
And if you all wish to come down, I'll be singing some film Bajan songs, some Kishore Kumarji, and Mohammed Rafi. I love those songs. But when it's satsang, I respect the answer, so I will sing these. But I love the, the classic of all these, and I love Bajans as well. If you may have a request, you can always let me know, and surely I would like to sing those sessions for you. So, so with this, I would like to say Namaskar and sit around and it was a really a pleasure seeing all of you. You know, you have a mix of the paintings. You have, you have attendance, but here you have attendance. You have attention and no tension. I really admire the way you, you listen to the discourse and I hope that some one of the message will be able to take it and keep it sacredly in your heart. I spoke about trimming the ego. Take that and apply it to your life. When you see someone tomorrow and you get upset, you no know, Pandiji said, anger is one word from danger. You add a D to anger, it becomes danger. You see someone tomorrow, you see something, things not working out in your job, in your relationship with people, just say, oh, Namah Shivaya. Leave it in the hands of the universe, Lord Shiva. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take you to places you have never seen before. He's going to transform you from a zero to a hero. And before you take the time worrying about things and people, take that same energy and chant the God's name. He will take you to greater heights. He will make you such a great person. Perceive it, believe it, and you can achieve it. Jai Ho, Jai Shri Krishna. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you. Today I am spellbound. I can't speak. So what you do when you can't speak? Om Namah Shiva. Everybody, Om Namah Shiva. Everybody? Om Namah Shiva. Right. Listen carefully and we learn the message, we learn the word. If you guys really want to say from the bottom of our hearts, on behalf of everybody here tonight who is witnessing you, most of them for the first time, put your right hands up. And if you love Panditji, put your two hands up. Thank you so much. So give him a big round of applause with your two hands. Thank you. We want to say thank you so much for making the time to be in Satsang with us at Providence in the temple. And um, we do enjoy you so much. We wish I can have you more often in Guyana. But tonight finished so fast. You agree with me? Yes. Somebody say yeah. Yes. All right. It finished so fast, so quickly. That's why I was waiting to hear more of Pandit Jinkata. But you know, Pandit, before I go on and say more, I like to speak a lot. Well, maybe I know to speak. I have a bigger brother here in me to be sing. And I'm sure he's listening to me carefully. But before we go forward, I want to ask Pandiji to do one. one more budget. Somebody say one. Somebody say two. Somebody say three. Somebody say give us five minutes more. Sing something for five minutes. Come on. Pandit, we want to ask that you sing some of you, I listened to so many of your songs. I didn't hear you before, but when I was asked and told that you're coming to guy, I started listening to your song. Can you sing? Five minutes for us. Put a couple of verses together. Um, being an artist, I sing all kinds of stupidness in under five minutes. You have five minutes on stage, you know, Rajesh. Yeah, I'll sing five songs for five minutes. You have a song, does it? Can you sing for us? Five minutes. Take seven. Put your hands again. Thank you so much. I'm sure some of you will be celebrating 
birthday this month, anybody? Lots of birthdays. Happy birthday anniversary. Thank <laughs> you. 
It came all the way down to Providence Hindu Temple for us. <laughs> and I said this too. When Narad Vasal came to Ghana, he passed all over. Yeah, he was wanting to do puja with somebody. Out of all the Mandir in the East Bank, he came to Providence Hindu Temple for us. So um, uh, we want to let you know that we have him first. Too. But Pani, if you want to have more of you in Ghana, and you talk about concerts, we want to have concerts with you. Please let us know your itinerary whenever you're coming back to Ghana as early as possible so we can arrange a few things for you. More on these back, probably in the temple for us. And then it. <laughs> so, like, you know, half of them, you know, you know. Sometimes there's a saying, leave the best. Like it's not going to last yet, it's not. <laughs> and also, I think the airport is the closest to the Monday, so I have to leave that night. <laughs> That's the real reason, but you, you're right. I hope you, hope you have stayed with them back for them again. <laughs> but um, I like to tell my brother, I'm happy to have him in San 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 but um, I really need to know. I, will not, I know we're going with time, and a lot of people have to go to work tomorrow, and plenty to be having crowd here, and I want to promise you whenever you come back to the and you have to come here, and I want the people to promise you here too. We will have more people turning out. The crowd is about 200 tonight. But like I said, this area here, everybody has to come in a taxi. I don't think anybody walk and came here this evening. Anybody walk? You've got a taxi, then your own vehicle to get here, right? Which is a okay. But a Saturday night will do us good too. We're gonna do more, more people. We're confident of that. Um, I want to ask my big brother, um, Dave Singh, to say a few words before we close. When I finish talking, maybe you can't talk when I finish talking. So we'll take one margin from Suzai, Vishnu Mandir, and then we'll go to Arti. That will do. I want to say thanks to all the people who have assisted us, all the sponsors uh, by Ram, um, who could make it to be here from Florida, by Ram, Prashad, Auntie Gita as well as here. Auntie Gita is very ardent father of Pandaji. She knows him very much on Facebook. And in Canada too as well. Very much. So um, we'll take a bhajan from Providence Hindu Temple. Uh, uh, sorry, from Suzai Vishnu Mandir. And then we'll go to that. I wish we can have so many more singing. I think we don't want to oppress in the time because we are afraid two people might not come back next time. Like I said, um, this year we get a lot of people have to go to work tomorrow morning.
Thank you for participating as well. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks to Ravi, Bridge Mahan, the Dulac player. Give him a big round of applause. Welcome to this graduate poster of flyers. I tried to do a bit of poetry to see Pravichan, Bojan, Bajan, Kirtan, Prashadam for everybody tonight. Bojan is prepared for everybody before you leave. Please join us outside, it will be shared leaf. So you'll have to you get a little line, not much. But make sure you collect it and take it home and prepare for everybody. It's uh, it's very delicious and tasty. I want to say thanks to Lakshmi Sawa, all the ladies um, who came in today and worked very hard to put it together. Please collect before you leave. Um, but it, uh, your poetic way of putting over the counter still got me. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. I really like the poetic way that you put over the messages. Thank you so much. Pandit Mohan, Pandit um, Sor is here as well too. Pandit um, Pandit Dumat as well. All you wonderful people. Um, thank you very much by George as well from Timiri. Um, thank you very much for being a part of our satsang. But it is moving on to get to hope tomorrow night, tomorrow evening. Those who would like to join him, please make an effort to attend as well. But we can all stand and join and come to the party. Oh,
devotees from the uh, temple. They are really in the moment, love with Padiji's deliverance tonight. So.